Oh, you bastard. Yeah. It's a fucking beast. It's the biggest fish of the day. A whopping 16 incher, maybe 15. Look, guys. And you're fishing master like me. Hey. When you're a master. He's like, don't put that in my mouth. Hey, 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 hey. He's like, I don't want that in my mouth. I don't want that in my mouth. But I'm trying to help him out. So you help me out. You caught, caught my ass. Oh, my God. I said fish are friends, not food. There we go, got one out. Not meaning to, but it is, so that's good. All right, you bastard. Let me get that hook out of you. Look at that big ass 16 incher, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. That is how you do it. Now everyone knows my secrets. To my skill level. That's what you know, I'm just so good. That on a day when everything looks like it's perfect, I catch 16 inches. Most people can't do that. They catch bigger fish than that. But me, I can catch a 16 incher any day. On the technique, y'all just don't know. I mean, he hit it once, I got him to come back and hit it again. That good. Ooh, they're coming on now. I think, I think they're starting now. I think these fish might be kind of turning on. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Look at him looking at me. He's like, what are you doing? I'm not catching shit. Me and that bird, we, we talk fishing. We, we, get, we exchange secrets. He's like, you need to do this, asshole. Hey. I'm doing what works for me today, bird. Okay? So you can just take your shit and go. How many fish have you caught? I ain't seen you catch shit. Turn on. Look at him looking at me. He's like, what you got right there? He said, what you got?
And my arm started to hurt. I'm doing this when I switch something else. day like this. I'm going nowhere. Like it came on and it shut the fuck right back off. Monster fish, y'all. Look out now. This is what it's all about, people. Catching monsters like this one. You don't know. I'll just be catching them. I'm getting a little bigger now, boy. That's a nice fish. That's probably up there in that keeper range of 17 inches there I like. <laughs> but you're going to go home today. You're going to go home today. And if the Yuzuri's on, let me tell you something, boys. If the Yuzuri's on, you just might as well sit back and relax and enjoy because we're going to be catching a lot of fish. Hold on now. Calm down. You're going to tear a hole in your damn lip. All right. Here, Purdy, let's put you back in the world you back in the world. Back in the world. Yeah, that's a good boy. Let's catch another one. I think we may be on to something here. Yeah, you, you still ain't caught shit, bird. Bring it. Me and this bird, we have competition, and he never wins. He just gets mad at me. He sits right there, and he says... And he just stares at me. He can't beat me. You can't beat me, bird. You've been trying for years. You've been trying for years. And you ain't beat me. You gotta let them know. That's just the thing about it is. You just got to let them know that they ain't gonna beat you. Watch this. Fish on. That's right, stick your head down and get all comfortable because you ain't catching shit. Okay? Look at his lame ass. Sitting over there, he ain't catching shit. 
crazy at? Yeah, sitting over there. You ain't catching shit. Got to show them how it's done. Me and this bird, we got issues. We fight. He come in, don't want to talk shit, thinking he know how to catch fish. He can't catch nothing. I ain't, he, ain't, he ain't caught one fish. Watch this, I'm gonna catch another one right now. Here we go, man, Houdini. Fish right there. Nothing crazy big today. Nothing crazy big. Alright, my paddle's trying to get away. He's trying to hook it to my pants, but we ain't gonna let him. Stop doing that. That's kind of annoying. Okay. 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 Maybe one more time. Gotcha. <laughs> now. Get this hook out of it. Oh, Jesus. What the hell was that? Now, let me get this hook out. This just ain't gonna work with you, buddy. You got to calm the hell down. Where's my hook puller? What the hell's that damn thing at? There we go. There you go, little feller. Nice little 16 inch trout. I'm gonna put you on this side. I don't want you getting caught up in my shit. There he goes. Well, let's check this thing out for damages. Looks good. All right, let's try to catch another. Another in. I guess technically. I mean, that is my fifth fish. Kind of sucks.
Let the birds even worry about the rain. Or even like if it even hinders them at all. Even like what the fuck is rain? You know, they're probably like, don't give a crap. You know. Hook came out a little bit. Oh yeah, monster fish! This guy is at least 30 inches long. It's probably gonna look smaller on tape, but hey, that's just the magic of television. You know, it takes off 30 pounds. I mean, or does the TV add 10 pounds? I don't know. If it does, then this one's probably 40 pounds. At least 12 pounds. You want to knock it off with all that? All right, then. Here comes Pelican. Going to ruin my damn spot. He don't care. It's like, screw this guy. I'll tell you what, though. It's something about this fish right here. Damn it, Hook. Quit being a gay wad. Oh, can't say that. I'm getting in trouble. Listen. Just because I said the gay word don't mean I'm talking about homosexuals. Yeah, pretty fish. Those are just pretty as hell. Uh, pretty. There he goes. Every time I say I'm going to get a different lure, this one catches something. See this? I like this thing, man. It does a good job of catching. I mean, this, I think it's like wintertime. Definitely, definitely my most reliable lure. Summertime, I'd have to say the cork, but. Yeah, that's a cork, bro. I mean, I mean, that's like, you know, they're keying in on shrimp. Summertime, I mean, I throw a shrimp on the end of the cork, it's just gonna happen. They're biting. Damn, this thing's big.
I am the king of, I am slaying this, the eight inch fish today. Nobody can catch eight inch fish like me. Everybody be like, oh, I caught a 30, I caught a 30. I caught 10 eight inch fish. So, <laughs> 10 eight inch fish, that's 80 inches. So I don't want to hear it. I don't even, I don't even want to hear it. That's all I got to say. You can go on with that. Oh, I caught a 30 inch fish, shoot. I caught 10, 80 inches. One time, I was sitting on the end of this uh, here in saltier water. I swear I caught 200 eight inch fish that day. So, shoot. What you got to say now? That's 1,600 inches. Oh, you ain't what the hell you think you're talking about? You 1600 inches, and you want to talk about, Oh, I caught some big fish, I caught a 30 inch, I caught 1600 inches. Yeah, I caught 1600 inches. There we go. That's at least eight inches. I am smoking them. Can't stop this. I get it. I can get this one to that pelican if you want. If you came over here. Sometimes they come and land on the kayak. Cause they want you to give them, give them your fish. And I do. I'd give them this guy. No offense. Hey, I'm not gonna do it. Calm down, buddy. I mean, it would be the circle of life, but you know, whatever. Oh, that thing gets stuck in there. Don't get stuck in there. Now, don't do that. There we go. He gonna get me with that hook. He gonna do it. I know he is. He's thinking about. Mm -hmm. I done made it worse. <laughs> Pelican. Okay, he's you lucked out. Shoot, I am just destroying these little fish. I want to switch baits. Maybe a bigger one. We want something else. This is a school of tiny ones just stacked up on this damn thing. Studying you the same damn fish. Yeah, I'm stuck in a bunch of small ones. There gotta be a big one in there, huh? Eight inches all day. All day long. All day. Yeah. I don't want to bring you on here. If they had like a a thing for getting hooks out, I'd be the novice. I'd be the, the worst one at it. This is a this is a toughy because the way it got his both lips. Okay, we're just gonna have to do it like this. There we go. Okay, give me that. I'm trying not to hurt this guy, but he's having these big hook hook pullers, and this little one. It's been like money here. I mean, that thing just, it's just easy. I mean, there's 
a big old school of smallies on this side. I'm just gonna sit here and just wear them the fuck out. Watch this. <laughs> Man, they are just tiny ones. I swear, they're just tiny ones over there. I set the hook on him like, yeah, they're this is tiny. I'm moving away from there. I'm moving away from there, buddy. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of catching these. Where is your brother at? Like I am the oldest. We are a really small family. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta be careful. Oh, I think I got it out. Oh, there we go. Please don't hook the gills. That's going to be me. <laughs> I go on the show and be like, look, if I don't like this shit, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, I felt that. I felt you on that one, Betty. He a little bite. I got it, dang boy. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. So we're back on the 3DS. Uh, yo, Zuri, you should sponsor me for as much as I talk about your damn lure. I'm just saying, this is ridiculous. Look at that thing. Look at that, look at that lure. They love that thing. I mean, it, it attracts fish from like a mile away. I mean, he's not nothing great. He's a pretty boy. I mean, he's probably a keeper. They gotta be 14 inches. I don't keep them. I don't keep them because I'm I'm holier than thou. I don't keep them unless they're 17, and I don't keep them if they're over 23. 23 and over, I ain't keeping. Because I'm about conservation, and I'm better than anybody, everyone else who keeps their fish. <laughs> you keep fish, you're an ass. If you don't do it like, if you don't do it just like me. You're a piece of crap, and I hate you. 
You ready? Fish on. Let's watch this. Look. I just let it sit here for like 10 minutes. Float back over the top. Everybody reels it in so fast. I'm like, it's winter time. These fish don't even want to move. Just give them something to look at. Twitch it. So it catches their eye and then let it sit for 20 million minutes. Seems to work for me. I don't know. You know, you know, if it works for them, they're going to do what works for them, I guess. Even though it's stupid. If you don't do what I do, you're stupid. <laughs> That's the world we live in. You don't agree with me here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't agree with me, you can go to hell. <laughs> oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a good keeper. Oh, he's got it all sideways enough. You know, if you were to make that come out right now, that would be awesome. Because this is going to be a pain in the butt getting this one out of here. I can tell you that. Oh my god, I'm sorry, dude. Your mouth is all sideways and shit. I gotta fix this. This ain't right. Alright, let's try to just pull it this way. There we go. Hold on now, dude. Now I gotta get the other one. You know, don't bite it. Alright, I think I got it now. You're going to probably cause me to lose a fish because I think. Mm, that's not what I want to do. Shit. I'm trying to grab right there and it's hard. Let's do it like this then. Oh, I'm just going to keep on missing. Damn, dude. What the hell did you do? Oh, you got it in that damn bone that fish always get it in there. You don't come out for shit. And you do that, you're gonna be fish food, is all I gotta say. There we go. You're gonna be food for something, because I don't know that you're gonna make it. But and that's alright. That ain't that ain't gill blood, that's Oh yeah it is. You're gonna die. But that's alright. You're gonna go give life to something else. You see, I am the greatest fish hunter that's ever been. That's how I'm gonna be when I get on get on uh alone. I'm gonna be like, look, I'm the you know the reason I think I should be here is because I'm the best fisherman in the world. And uh Yeah, in like day two. Oh, I just can't seem to get on the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't eaten in three months. <laughs> that would be awesome. Watch this fish. I'm gonna wait a second. I feel, I feel a slight bump. <laughs> nope, we drew it this time. I see so many people swim these things in. I'm like, it's called a twitch bait for a reason. Well, let me just keep catching them, I guess. Excuse me.
Watch this. Ready? Fish. Mm. <laughs> One, two, three fish. Bite, your, bite the lure, you butthole. You know what? I don't even want to fish for you anymore. Y'all are dumb. I don't like you. I want to fish over here. Somebody's on the boat. Come on, grab it. Come on. Don't be an a-hole. Somebody should buy me a boat. I don't want to buy it myself. Someone should just buy me one. Stop being stop being like greedy, stingy. You know. The Bible says it's better to give than it is to receive. So give to me, and you will feel better about yourself. Don't worry about my giving. Okay, that's we're not talking about me right here. Okay, so not all everyone else who doesn't give me enough. I'm gonna be on the loan. I'm gonna be like, I don't think there's anything that's gonna take me out of this show. You know, this is, you know, I don't foresee anything being hard. This is what I do. <laughs> that guy, that guy started yelling at the weather. He yelled at, he yelled at everything, but he started yelling at the weather. <laughs> yelling at the weather. For five damn minutes or something. He said, he said would the wind just stop it for five minutes? minutes it's the wind it's not gonna listen oh wait look some of those people think it will to me they get all spiritual out there to like i'm here to find myself i'm like you're attached to yourself how did you lose yourself you're you're with yourself all the time who am i <laughs> there we go this is to show you like people are so freaking lost in this world it's like I came to find out something about myself. <laughs> I came to. <laughs> I came here looking to see you know, what is the land going to give me? What is this? What is the land? I want to connect with the land. People started talking like they were in the Mongolian season. They were talking about it like it was a person. Come on, Mongolia. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? It is a landmass. It does not know. <laughs> Maybe it's because I believe in science, but I'm just, <laughs> I just don't think uh, it's going to talk back to you. <laughs> I don't know. They call me crazy, but. Call me crazy, but I don't think you're going to get the response you're looking for. Everybody looking for something, though. Oh lordy, we gotta be careful. I'm gonna touch his gills and I gotta be really careful. Oh shoot. Oh, oh it's bleeding up. It's done. Damn it. I'm gonna stop fishing. I ain't gonna kill no more fish. This is bullshit. I mean, 
because he's going to die now, and I'm not going to keep him. Lisa, there's an ethical question right there of, is it, if you don't keep him, you're just out there killing him, you know, I'm not meaning to kill him, but damn, this guy, hopefully, hopefully it's not that bad and he lives, but I don't know, gill, gill injuries, like a lung injury, you know, it's, that's tough. There we go. All right, buddy. I don't think it's too bad, though. He's not bleeding all that bad. Maybe it's just a scar. I hope so. Swim away. Swim away. He swam away. I just hope it stops bleeding. That's something I wonder. Like, they're in the water. All right, so how hard, you know, is it for their blood to coagulate? Or does it even do that? That's a question. That's a, good, that's a question I would like to know. Alright, I'm ready for that 30 inch trout. Man, I'd be happy if I just I'm happy with the ones I caught today, but you know, you know, you always want a big and these are all good table trout. As they say, table fair. Honestly, I think I think. That's kind of why, my, why I have my limit the way it is. Well, one, because I saw that chart and it showed like fish over, you know, 23 inches and up. They produce so many freaking eggs. And then fish below, you know, like 14, 15, 16, they don't produce that many. So I figured, you know, what, let's just say 17 to 23. And plus, that's the best, in my mind, the best eating size anyway. 16s are good, but... Like, even a 23, I don't, you know, I don't even keep a 23, but a 23 to me is too big. It's like everybody says when you catch a big old, you know, 40-inch drum, they're like, don't you wish, don't you, did you eat it? And you're like, well, it's illegal. And they're like, don't you wish you could have kept it? And, I said, and I'm always like, nope. <laughs> they're full of lice and worms. They're old fish, you know. That slot, you know, 17 to 27, that's good enough. I think 20, a 20 inch drum is the best. Fish on. That's a fish over there. Uh -huh. Hey, get the hell away. You're going to jump right in the boat. And it's going to be awkward. in here. Sometimes I get too antsy and I start jerking it too hard and I gotta remember. Like with me, I barely even move my wrist. I was just like that. Just to make it flash a little bit. That's the way I like to do it anyway. Boom. Boom. You know, a little bit of space in between it. Let it rise. That's usually when they hit it on the pause. Hmm. 
I ain't gonna go in. I'm gonna sit here all day because these things now. This one just turned on. See what I mean? You know, like I said, everybody's like, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, I've seen, seen people out there like, well, as soon as the sun comes up, I leave. They don't bite out. They don't bite. And so I'm like, where do you think people get their information? Like, this bite hadn't started until, I don't know, it was probably 10 o'clock. I was out here at 6 30, didn't get on nothing but dinks, and now all of a sudden I got on like five or six in a row. Good ones. Or maybe all together, I don't know. A little pool to get it underwater. My favorite thing is when people say they didn't catch any fish, and then they say, they post something, they'll say, like, that creek's dry. Ain't no fish in that creek. <laughs> I always die laughing. I'm like, are you sure about that? Are you sure you think you just, maybe you just didn't catch any? <laughs> I remember one guy did it one year and I had just been there and caught my living. Everything was over 20 inches. And I was like, what are you talking? <laughs> Me and this dude started posting the pictures like every day. <laughs> I was just in there yesterday, caught my limit. <laughs> you don't think about that. Just because you don't catch them, I mean, that's like saying you're the greatest fisherman of all time. You, you're basically a fish finder. If you, if you don't, they don't exist in that creek. But they're there. Maybe they ain't biting that day you went out, but they're there. Not even saying he don't know how to fish, but I mean, some days they just don't want to bite. Some days it's harder than others, but eventually they're going to have to bite. Got a little law right here. A minute there, I, went, I was hitting on everything, and I think if I go right back over here, I'll start again. I just don't want to get on that damn school of little ones. That thing's annoying. I gotta pay attention though, because I don't want to hook another one of the gills. I gotta feel that slight bump on and react a little bit quicker. They are straight up swallowing this sucker. They're probably sitting in that current. Because trout be trout. And trout like a current. Just like mountain trout and anything is right on there. And they don't like a potato and like a current. Let's see if my assessment is correct. And I'll put it in that current right there. They like some moving water right on the edge up of their slip. Let's see if I'm right. Well, make me look like an idiot then, Trout. F you. He caught a fish. He's on one. There you go, buddy. That's probably a nice one. From what it looks like down here. That one's I think I can find me another 25 incher over here. There's a 25 inch that sits under a stump up there. Let's see if he's still there. Catch him again. There's a stump, it's under the water. And it's like perfect.
was it? If he's over here fishing, I don't want to get in his way. If he comes back here, I'll move. Here comes the rain. Na, 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 na. Cast down this little line. Damn, damn camera. Let me cast down this damn side right here. Maybe I'll get something. I ain't even tried it. Oh, no. Maybe a little bit. I know he's a small one. Just get him into the boat. See, I think small ones are sitting over here. Whoa. Splash me in the face, dude. Why don't you get yourself off the hook for me? What a fish that you want to do. Never do that. You done? Oh, they went backwards. What an idiot. That's who said. He cried every day. He said, I'm, I'm allowed to cry. <laughs> if I want to cry, I can. Oh, I can. Then the one dude started fussing us out for watching the show. He's like, you're sitting on your butt at home. Well, I'm out here suffering for your entertainment. I was like, I'm doing it. nobody asked your ass to go out there. <laughs> God, I think, yeah, I think you had to volunteer to be on the show. <laughs> I don't think they called you up and said, hey, we don't know you. But you want to be... <laughs> I don't think nobody came and kidnapped you <laughs> and put you on the show. He's like, uh, you're sitting over there on your ass. I was like, darn, buddy. <laughs> I don't think nobody... You know, I thought it was a... You send in a submission thing. <laughs> you, you know, you not a submission admin or at, you know, whatever. I can't talk because I'm a target, but I didn't think they were forcing people <laughs> to come to your house kidnapping you. You're going to be on our show. I think you were talking about how good of a survival guy you were in the islands in the Caribbean or whatever. So I bet you are in the Caribbean. That's what I've always said about my hometown. As I said, if you get lost in the woods and you can't survive, then you just weren't meant to live. <laughs> I mean, there's water everywhere. It's always raining. There's food sources everywhere. So if you, if you could all survive in the woods in North Carolina, oh crap, I gave away my position. North Carolina, then you just, I don't know. We, we have like every kind of ecosystem here, except for a desert, except for a desert. We don't have that. But other than that, we got it. We got like a 
almost every kind. Overpopulated with game animals. I mean, turkeys are here every day. I see flocks of turkeys here every day. And I'm just like, huh, okay. I'm gonna go fishing, I'm gonna go hunting here. <laughs> season comes I will I see huge flocks every day you hear them screaming in the woods we had a cold day yesterday last night it was 27 degrees it may get a little bit cooler now but that's about hitting us <laughs> you know especially on the coast You know, worst time in the summertime, humid as crap and hot. It still ain't Miami though. It ain't like Miami and cold. It ain't like damn upstate New York or something. It's nice. <laughs> The most humble ones on the show, I think, are usually the ex the ex soldiers. Like I was a Green Beret. You know, they don't really talk much about. They say, "Well, I know how to do this," but they're always like, "I think it's probably because they've been shot at." <laughs> like they'll humble you. They're like, "I don't know. <laughs> we'll see." too fast that time because I'm trying not to get them in the gills. That girl though. What'd she call him? Hoppy or Poppy? Lie though. She, she was badass though. She was tough. But that was those. But a lot of them are tough, but they're also like weird as crap. I need to connect with the land. Hey, I believe in meditation and stuff, you know, getting your mind right, but it's a mental thing, not a spiritual thing. <laughs> so, okay, I'm in a bad mood or something. I need to. Refocus here. They're all like, you know, the spirits of the land. I'm like, ma'am, we are carbon based. Everything on here is carbon, made out of carbon. <laughs> uh, there's no spirits in it. People believe in whatever. No matter how much proof says no, they'll wait for the one thing, the random coincidence that happens and totally ignore all the other crap that happened. That was, <laughs> like, oh, that happened, so it's proof. Like, what, about, what about all the other crap that happened? You know, that was like totally not proof. My, this reel, this reel is about dead. Oh, that's a nice one. You know, what about all that? Jesus. I'm glad they didn't get in my damn hand. It's still good. He didn't break it. 
Come here, dude. Hey, you're a good, you're a good size fish. You'd be a good eater. What are you, about 17 inches? Purdy. Now get back now. You might not be that big. Right on the cusp. Nice fish. I like to sit here like this and catch 17 inch trout all day. That's fun. But anyway, you see what I'm saying? Like this lure, I wasn't even. I was like sitting there running my damn mouth, not even paying attention. Then bam! They love to hit it on that pause. I think sometimes people, do, you know, I'd be out here and, and I'm not trying to brag, but you know, people will be out here and they come by and be like, man, I you. You get where you look? I'm like, yeah, I got my limit. And I'll pull up a string or show them. And they're like, man, I didn't get anything. And I watch them fish, and I'm always like, you know, you got to recognize it is wintertime. I think you're maybe being a little too aggressive. What do you do when you're cold? You kind of sit and bundle up, and you don't want to move as much. You know, I think the, you know, the fish are the same way. They're, you know, and they're cold-blooded. You gotta really put it in front of their face and really just let them make it easy. And when it is summertime, a lot of times, I, you know, summertime, if I use this lure in the summertime, it's like pop, pop, and then swim it in and they'll hit it. And hit, and that's how I do it. I just pop, pop, reel, pop, pop, reel. This one, not summertime, in winter, I'm pop, pop, and just sit. Let it, you know, reach the top. But, you know, just like you, they don't want to move around. They're, they're tired as hell. They're like, it's cold, and I don't want to do anything. <laughs> that was like the world's greatest cast. One thing I, know, one thing I noticed is like, the little ones like young kids seem to have a lot more energy all the time so like a lot of times if you're just running your bait fast all the time you sit there because dinks all day long you start slowing it down real much a lot and that's all of a sudden you get a pow, real hard hit like that guy hit it hard he, he hit it i thought it was gonna be a lot bigger fish he smacked it I need to talk like this when I'm on when I'm talking because I know when I get on camera you might watch some stuff like Oh my god. Why can't we make fun of everybody? Why do some people think they're off limits to being made fun of? It's like carp law, he's like you can make fun of whoever you want, but don't make fun of this group. It's like man, you ain't off limits. Come on, you wanna be part of the group? You wanna be you wanna be like everybody else? You wanna be equals in hell. You're gonna get made fun of like everybody else. Just sit back, relax, and laugh at yourself. Quit taking yourself so damn serious. Getting offended over stuff. Make yourself get offended so easily. Don't make no sense. Stop complaining. You can't fit. You know, there's somebody's always gonna be somebody out there. Who's gonna, who's gonna not like you and you ain't gonna like him? So just, hey, hey, you don't wanna be around him, move on, do something else, ignore it. Stop forcing your lifestyle on me. I don't wanna, you know, I don't force my lifestyle on you. Don't force it on me. You do what you wanna do, I'll do what I wanna do. It's a free country. You live your life your way. I'm not gonna hate you for it. But don't, well, I will when you start trying to force me to accept it. I mean, hell, it ain't my life. I don't got to accept it. You're the one who's got to accept it. You're trying to make me accept it. It makes me wonder if you've really accepted it. You're trying to get everybody else to agree with you, so maybe you feel better about your decision. I mean, if, if, if you're happy with the way you're living, like I am, a lot of people don't know how I live. Well, I live it's like you know, I don't want a lot, don't ask for a lot, and you know, drive the big fancy thing, don't want the big house, you know. I want to live in a van and travel the country. People look at that like, what the hell, you know. But, and it don't bother me, because I get it. It's not, it's, not their, it's not their dream. They ain't got to accept it. Only I do. They ain't got to understand it. 
same thing with y'all, man. With everybody out there. I mean, you live your life, and if that's what you want to do, then do it. Don't worry about everybody else. Don't try to make everybody else have to like what you're doing. That's just, that's not fair to everybody else. It's pretty narcissistic. You know, life, life will tell you, some people just ain't going to accept you. So why don't you just move on from them people? And go, you know, do your, do your thing. Dude, all I got to say is... lifestyles that I don't necessarily understand, but it's not for me to understand. It ain't my life. It ain't my life. I don't need to understand it. You do. It's your life. So, hey, whatever. You do you. Don't force me into it. I don't care. I don't care one way or the other what you do. You know, it's like, it's like you know, if you want to Like you can be a psycho until you until you murder somebody, <laughs> you know. Until you go off and harm somebody else, your life doesn't bother nobody else. I got these hooks are bent, I think. Eh, yeah, they're all right, you know. There's another good one. He's a fatty. He's a fat little feller. Now that's probably a good 17, 18 inch. But anyway, go back in the water, buddy. Strong. He is strong like bull. He is strong like bull. And there he goes.